Hi, pretty girl. You want to come out for a while? Bask in the sun a little bit. Come on. Want to come out? Oh, there we go. Ground's a little damp, but you'll survive. This is Ginger, my girl. Give me a baby. Say, first time out this year. Well, I had Sonny and Tipper out, so at least I could do is bring you out. It's a little cool. There, I got my camera back in focus. I hit the button when I was changing the setting on it. Now I can see you. There you are. Now I can see you. Say, lady, you forgot how to use your camera. Run to mama. They all do this. They all come back to me outdoors. But I figured since Tipper and Sonny had a day out, I'd bring Ginger out for a while. She's a real pretty girl. She's the oldest of my three ball pythons. Good sized girl. What are you doing? So I'm going to take off on you. That's what I'm doing. You going to take off on me? When Nosy and Grumpy ate, they're chilling out on their belly heating pad digesting food and still waiting for Tawny to push some eggs out. She pushed out a couple of slugs, but they were the first two to come out. So that happens sometimes, but she's pushing them down. So she's in her tramp state. So I'm watching her real close because I want to get them marked and put in the incubator as soon as I can. Where are you going, Jen? You don't want to go up there. You still want to go get in that pile. Come on. Relax. Yeah. Yeah, it's something I tell people all the time about their snakes. Don't just reach down and grab them. Touch them first and let them know that you're there so it doesn't freak them out and startle them. You're so big. Look at you. You're so big girl. She was the first snake that bonded with my cat. We sure do miss her. My snakes, every time I bring them out in the house, they look everywhere for the poor cat. But we miss her terribly. She was such a good friend with my snakes. It's just remarkable. I know I could never replace her, per se, but you know, when I first got her, she was a rescue, and the cat was really very aggressive. But you can work with any animal and turn them around from being aggressive to passive. All it takes is patience and dedication and understanding of what they've been through in a previous life with someone else. But you have to understand that. They had a rough time. Are oh, you going around me? You're cheating. You're cheating. Go that way. Go that way. What would you do that for? I don't usually grab my snakes and move them, but I want to keep her in front of me so I can see her. You're going to go around me anyway, huh? She's a real big girl. Finally getting over the flu. Just the sinus thing hasn't gone away yet. But that's typical this time of the year in New York. Crazy weather. Where are you going, Mama? She's so beautiful. I love her reduced pattern. I'd love to get a lot more of the ball pythons. Patterns. I think they're just one of the most beautiful snakes there is is with the reduced pattern. Where are you going, lady? You're supposed to be basking in the sun, not roaming around everywhere. So you kidding me? Coming out in the house is good for them. It helps them enhance their senses and gives them some freedom to express themselves. But it's nothing like being outdoors where they can get the sun. They really enjoy it. And it's so sad that people won't take their snakes out because they're worried about mites. You can take precautions so they don't get exposed to mites and other parasites out in the outdoors. So, you know, it's kind of sad that the animals have to go through life without these great extras in their life, the interaction with nature and their surroundings because you're afraid they'll get mites. Mites can be treated, they're not hard to get rid of. But it's really sad that these snakes spend their lives sitting in a cage because you're not sure you're responsible enough to take care of any situation that comes up with their health. It's really sad. Sorry I'm shaky. I haven't been up very long. Yeah, that's what I do first thing every morning. 
She's so pretty. You're looking over everything, huh? She's a big girl. Could you not? But yeah. I'm beautiful is what I am. I'm a beautiful girl. What do you see? Birds are around, huh? I hear them. We're doing, Jed. I'm loving that sunshine hitting me in the face. That's what I'm doing. Hey. You know, even if it's only for 20 minutes, it really adds so much to their lives to take them out of their cages. Me, when I take mine out to clean their cages, I keep them out for a while and handle them and work with them. There you go. What's 15, 20 minutes of your time to give them a better quality of life? If you can't, afford that probably you shouldn't have snakes maybe yeah breeders it's different their task isn't to socialize the animals as much as it is for a hobbyist like myself that spends a lot of quality time with them because their snakes are always going out to new homes you got to expect it it's up to the owner the person that purchases the snakes to socialize them and work with them you're so pretty, Ginger. I'm just so awed by her colors and patterns. She's just such a beautiful reduced pattern. She's got the stripe on the back of her tail, just like Tipper does. You leaving me? You gotta leave me? You gonna take off on me? She's just happy to be out. They don't go very far. I'm leaving you. Yeah. You can't go get on that tire. That tire is really hot, girlfriend. How about I get in front of you and cut you coming toward me? I cut you off at the pass, didn't I? Now what? I'm in front of you. Now what? Huh? Now I'm in front of you. Hey! So it didn't accomplish a lot. Now she came up here and got in front of me, so I can't go any further. Hey, pretty girl. Beautiful animals. So badly misunderstood by people. And you know, it doesn't take you long to learn about them. Learn the truth about them. It's all over the internet. So you have no excuse for not knowing that these aren't mean animals. It's just your mind stuck in that mode that you think they're these big killing machines and they're not. But that's your loss. You know, if you wanna go through life believing that, you're really missing out on some fantastic experiences with them. You're hugging me. Yes, you are, you're hugging me. <laughs> Where are you going? So I'm going behind you again. Ground's a little chilly, so I'm not going to keep her out for too long. The sun's shining, but the temps aren't as high as they usually were last week when I had Tipper and Sunny out. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? You're not getting in that pile of plywood. That's wood Dennis and I are going to be working on the outside boa cage with and building me a storage building for my plastic snake totes this spring. You can't go get in that pile. I'd never find you. No, you can't go get in there. I know you're curious, but we're not going to go over there. No, I'm sorry. Say what? I can't get through your leg. What'd you do? <laughs> you can't get past my leg? There. You'll figure it out. So I'll go around it. See, they have reasoning. They aren't stupid animals. I'm going to take you in a few minutes. This ground's a little chilly for me, and I don't care for it when it's, their bellies are on a damp, cool area like that. The sun's warming it up, but it's not as warm as I prefer it to be for them to be out laying on it. I'm leaving. Now she's determined to get in that wood pile over here. They're headstrong. I'll give them that. 
stubborn and headstrong if they set their minds to something.